Hi, and welcome back to yet another exciting week of the Lazy Money Game. In this week's episode, I will start by giving an update to my portfolio, and then we are going to take a closer look at the corporate actions regarding Brookfield Asset Management, since there's a major update out from them. And afterwards, we're going to look closer at this pump and dump scheme from the financial influencers. There are eight financial influencers who are being sued for 100 million US dollars. So let's start with a quick portfolio update. But first, if you think that I sound a little different than usual, well, then you are right. It's due to the fact that I currently have a cold. So if we look at the portfolio, the first thing we notice is that there was a red circle for this week's episode, meaning that the portfolio is down in value compared to last week. If you go to the portfolio values tab, we can see that I'm down $3,500. And at the same time, we can see that the cost has stayed unchanged, meaning no new investments. If we then continue to my favorites tab, namely the dividends tab, then we can see that finally I have received some dividends in December since I have received dividends from Agree Realty Corporation and Organon, giving me a little more than $27 in December so far. Let's go to my Excel spreadsheet and let me try and explain what corporate action has happened here. So the old Brookfield Asset Management will now be recognized as BN, that is the new ticker. And the spin-off company will keep the old ticker called BAM. So this is what confuses a lot of people, since if you look to my portfolio, that is why I have 220 shares of BN and 55 shares of this new spin-off company. So for each four shares of the old BAM company, you received one share of the new BAM company and you have all your old shares of BAM converted into BN shares. So these are the new tickers that you will have to recognize when you are trying to locate these. So a very natural question to ask at this point in time is of course, why? did Brookfield decide to make this spin-off? Well, they actually believe that it is more beneficial for shareholders to be able to invest in this pure asset management business so that it would trade at a higher premium. So it should be more beneficial for the shareholders of this new spin-off called BAM. And there will be a huge distinction between BN and BAM, since BN is not going to pay a significant dividend, they are going to retain their earnings and reinvest into the business where the new spin-off is a capital asset light business model and they are going to pay out roughly 90% of their cash flow. So this will act much more as a pure dividend play. So now you can decide what you actually want to invest in in a much more clear way. So this was the short explanation for what has happened to the Brookfield Asset Management shares. And if we go back here to my overview arc, well, I have done a little trick here to make it more realistic, I would say, since I have split my costs with the same distribution between the two ticker codes as the distribution was for the corporate action saying for parts in the BN and one part into the BAM shares. In reality, I have paid zero for these BAM shares, but I mean, it's in order to avoid a line similar to the one we have here with Organon, where the percentages changes are completely ridiculous. And at the same time, if we go to the right here, I know that these dividends are currently not correct. I will update them once I'm actually receiving the dividends since I want the dust to settle here. I fully understand that this is just me doing some bookkeeping in order to try and keep track of it to display a more pretty picture here instead of having these ridiculous percentage changes, which I would really like to avoid. The next natural question to ask is, of course, am I going to sell all my shares in BN here since now is not really a dividend play anymore. Well, I would say I bought them before this was announced and I really do not like transaction costs. So for now, I would actually say this is 
a good way of trying to illustrate what is the difference between a growth stock and a dividend paying stock since we should expect that the share price in BN would increase significantly faster than the share price in BAM since they are going to pay out the majority as dividends. So for that reason alone, as a lesson, I think it serves a very valuable purpose for me just to keep them. I could of course also just refer to my guidelines and say it's not because I think that they are significantly overvalued or that I have lost faith in the company. Well, then I shouldn't sell them either. If we then continue to the next news item, this is why I time and time again say always be critical when you're watching something online, especially when it comes to investing. I mean, this article from CNBC, the Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission charge social media influencers in an alleged $100 million stock pump and dump scheme. And as always, I will include a link in the description below so you can go and read this article for yourself. But essentially what these eight influencers are being charged with is they have bought into shares, then they are hyping these shares and without informing that they have a significant interest in hyping the shares, meaning pumping the price, then they are selling at these highly inflated prices. That is the dump part, hence the pump and dump scheme. So where did this hype take place? Well, if you look at your screen and see these eight names of the defendants, then you can at the same time see that they have Twitter accounts and Discord handles, meaning they use Twitter and Discord in order to pump the price of the shares up. I am not familiar with any of these eight defendants, nor their Twitter or their Discord handle, but at the same time, I'm also not the target audience. Of course, I get inspired by other investors as well. But I mean, when I'm looking through the list of super investors, I think it speaks for itself that that is a completely different crowd than what you're seeing at the screen now. So that actually sums it up for yet another exciting week of the lazy money game. So now you at least know more about corporate actions and particularly what has been going on with the ticker code for Brookfield Asset Management and Brookfield Corporation. So if you have enjoyed the content and have made it all the way to the end of the video, then please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. And Merry Christmas, since this is the last episode before Christmas. Looking forward to seeing you next Sunday. Bye.